Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, I thought I'd show you guys this uh, game that I just got in. Here we have World Class Bowling. And right now I'm playing this in that Shuffle Shot cabinet that I got not too long ago. Real simple game. It's uh, nothing fancy, but it is pretty decent, pretty fun. So let's just uh, play a little bit of this and we'll see what happens. You got your uh, button one and button two, as you can see right there. You can change the angle of your shot. Don't take this, uh, you know, serious. Just some quick gameplay. Now one thing you'll notice is the game, the, the ball can go really, really fast. And I know some people don't like that, but you know, for what it is, it's pretty good. Try and get a strike right here. Of course, uh, that was a complete failure, but oh well. What I'm actually thinking of doing is making a multi uh, trackball game. If you'll remember, this cabinet came with Shuffle Shot. And Shuffle Shot and World Class Bowling are pretty much uh, changeable. Um, just plug and play for the most part. There we go. Now, Shuffle Shot I really didn't care for, but um, World Class Bowling is pretty fun. This is actually the second world-class bowling game I have. Uh, I got another one not too long ago, or it was world-class bowling deluxe. A little bit different. Uh, it has regular world world-class bowling, and then it has the deluxe version. Um, something to do with uh, flash and numbers, and uh, I really don't know. I tried tried it. It's fun. It works. But there's something wrong with the with the game itself. Um, the game automatically resets after um, probably right when you get to about the seventh uh, set, it'll reset. So not qu quite sure what's up with that. Let's see if we can get a strike again. Probably not going to happen. And my marquee just fell down. Uh, that's probably not going to stay. And get some tape and tape that sucker. I get some nice shine and light, and maybe we'll just leave it. Well, that sucked. Nah, I like it better. So let's play again. Well, you can hear the the intro music.
Now the monitor on this cabinet, it's got some issues. Right now it seems to be playing fine, but um, it probably needs a cap kit because every now and then we'll get some waviness up at the top. And at first I thought it was a sink issue, but it just seems to happen off and on. So I'm assuming it's going to need a cap kit. So I might put a different monitor in here. I might uh, do a cap kit. Who knows? Let's play again. As you can see right here, there's a little timer. Gives you more than enough time. See, can you see my hand when I do that? Yeah, yeah, I guess you can. Well, that sucked. There we go. Ah, so close. Let's just see what happens. Nice. You know, it's a, it's a fun game. You can get it pretty cheap. It is a uh, JAMA compatible in terms of, well, basically you just need a JAMA cabinet and you hook it up and then your trackball uh, gets hooked up to the PCB. So, pretty uh, simple game. It's a cheap game. You could probably get it for, you know, on average about $50 or so. Um, sometimes you'll pay around the $80 mark. I can't do numbers? Well, that kind of sucks. Alright, let's just roll the dice and see where it lands. There we go. So, all in all, a pretty good game. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. It's fun. So, not much more to show. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.